This video is about nesting logical functions. Here's the principle behind nesting functions. When you nest functions together, the function you enter as an argument must return the same kind of information as the argument it replaces in the formula. Let's take a look at an example of this. Here we have an if function, and the arguments in our if function are logical test, value of true, and value of false. To know what kind of function you can nest into the if function, you have to take a look at what each argument returns. So if we look at the logical test, a logical test returns true or false. So examples of functions that return true or false are and, if, or, and not. So these are all functions that you could use in place of the logical test argument. Value of true and value of false return numbers or text, which means that you can nest any function into the value of true or the value of false. Let's work some examples of nesting functions together. In this worksheet, we have a salesperson's name, their region, their sales amount, and we want to figure out what kind of bonus they get. If they meet the sales target of $75,000, they'll get a bonus, and the bonus will be 10% of their sales amount. I know here that I want to do a logical test. I need to check and see if the sales was greater than or equal to $75,000. And then I also need to do a calculation. I need to figure out 10% of the sales. Because I want to do a logical test and I want to return something other than true or false, I know that I need to do an if function. So let's go ahead and start with our if function. I'll put in equals if and open parentheses. My logical test will be is sales, C2 in this case, greater than or equal to the sales target, which is B12. And because I'm copying this formula down, I'll press F4 on the keyboard to make this absolute. I'll type a comma to move on to the value of true. Now the value of true is where I want to calculate the bonus. If this person's sales number was 75,000 or more, then I want to calculate 10% of their sales. I can put in a formula to do this. So I'll arrow over to C2 and then type an asterisk, which is the operator for multiplication, and then I'll put in 0.1 for 10%. And that's my value of true. Then I'll type a comma for my value of false. If they didn't meet the sales target, then their bonus is zero. So I'll type a zero, and then I can close parentheses. I'll press enter, and then copy the formula down. And now I have everybody's bonus amount calculated. So this is one example of nesting formulas and functions together. Let's look at another. In this next example, we're using the same data. I want to figure out somebody's regional advisor. The north and west regions both have Burns as their regional advisor. The east and south regions both have Barstow. I want to do one function that will return either Burns or Barstow. I know that I need to use an if function because I want to do a logical test and I want to return something other than true or false. I also know that I need an OR function because I need to check if somebody is either in the north or the west region to return burns. So I know that my two functions are going to be IF and OR. Let's go ahead and start the IF function and I'll show you how this works. I'll type equals IF and open parentheses. The first argument in my if function is logical test. Now, I don't want to do one logical test, I want to do two logical tests. And I know I want to do an OR function to check if they're either in north or west. So I can use an OR function as my logical test. To do this, I'll type OR and open parentheses. Notice that the screen tip below is for the OR function now. My first logical test will be is region B2 equal to north. I could type north and put it in quotes, but I can also use a cell reference. So I'll go ahead and put A13 as the cell reference and press F4 to make that absolute because I'm copying the formula down. 
I'll type a comma and I move on to the second logical test of the OR function. And that will be is region, so again B2, equal to, and this time I'll select the cell with west in it and press F4 to make that absolute. Those are the only two logical tests in my OR function, so I can close the parentheses on the OR function. My screen tip went back to the IF function, and logical test is still bold. I need to type a comma to move on to the value of true. Now the value of true will be burns, so I could type burns and put it in quotes, but I can also just select B13 and then press F4 to make that absolute. I'll type a comma, and if they're not in the north or the west region, then they must be in the east or the south region, and their regional advisor will be Barstow. So I'll select B15 that has Barstow in it, and I'll press F4 to make that absolute. Now I can close parentheses on the if function, press enter, and then copy the formula down. And now I have the regional advisor for each employee.